Today I'm going to be making something really yummy and really fun and these are my twice baked baked potatoes. We need some potatoes. I've got russet potatoes here. We're going to need some olive oil. I've got some sea salt here, some sour cream, about four tablespoons of salted butter and some chives for decoration. So those are the ingredients. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab a fork and I'm just going to put a whole pile of holes all the way around. Just jab the potato, just go around, just like that. This is just going to prevent them from exploding in the oven. I also wash these down just to get any of the grime and, you know, dirt off of them. So you just take your fork, just... You know, you want to go down maybe a half an inch or so. You don't have to be that accurate. Just go around. Just have fun and poke away. There we go. Great. That's number one. Okay. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to get them onto a little pizza tray. And I'm just going to take some nice olive oil and just drizzle just like that. I've got myself a little silicone brush. And I'm just going to go over them. And I'm going to use this tray in the oven, so that's why I'm doing this like this. You don't have to be super, super fussy with, you know, how much you get. Just try to get a liberal amount on here. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so I've got my sea salt here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a nice coating of salt all the way around so the olive oil you know really helps out in folding the salt on there I'll flip that over flip them over just like that and we'll hit the other side with salt as well and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so at this point now I am gonna pop these in the oven and I will see you in about an hour and a half these are large potatoes they're gonna take about 90 minutes so, off to the oven for about 90 minutes. All right, here are my beautiful baked potatoes. Still very hot. I'm gonna bring those out. Oh, you can see the beautiful sea salt on there. That looks good, yum. All right, our next step. I'm just gonna move a couple of them off. We'll start with one. I'm just gonna grab my paring knife. And you just kinda go around and just make, you know, a little, just cut off the top, just like that. There we go. Oh, that's hot. All right. And then do the same thing to the next one. Beautiful. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out all of the meat, you know, the inside of the potato, and we're going to get that into a bowl. And you just want to gently get as much of the inside of the potato out as possible. And we'll get on to the next one. And just scoop this out. So what we're basically doing, scooping all of this out and then we're going to mix it with our sour cream. Mix it all up and then we're going to put it back in and then we're going to bake them again. So I guess what I'll do is I'll whip through these. You see the basic concept, so I don't think you want to watch me doing all three of these. So I'll whip through these and I'll come back when I'm almost finished. And there we go. Okay, so we have three bottoms and three tops. So you could just eat those as a snack or turn them into little potato skins, which is a good idea as well. But for this video, these I'm going to put to the side and we're going to concentrate on our little bottoms. Okay, so on to the next step. Okay, next step. I'm going to take all of our butter and just get that right into our nice potato. There we go. I probably should have used a slightly larger bowl. If I have a problem with it, I will move it to a new bowl. 
And what I want to do here is I just want to start mashing these up, getting them whipped up. And to loosen this up a little bit, I'm going to start adding in our sour cream. All right, got the sour cream. I'm going to add in two heaping tablespoons and we'll mix that in. Okay, I'll add in another couple of tablespoons. There we go. Don't be shy. Get that all in there, that's good. There, now it's getting really, really nice and creamy. It's exactly what I want. So, at this point right now, I'm gonna grab our sea salt and just hit it with a little sea salt, just like that, there we go. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of black pepper, just like that, that's good. I'm gonna mix that up. And that's it. We're done. Look at that. That is really, really nice and fluffy. Okay, you can either spoon this now into your potato skins with a few spoons, or you can just use a piping bag, which makes it really, really easy. You're gonna have some left over, but it doesn't matter. You can use it as mashed potato. There we go. Or you can make potato croquettes, which are very, very good, deep fried potato balls. So there I've got my thing. I'm just going to fill it just like that. I'm just giving equal pressure all the way along, just like that. If you want a little bit more, get down there again, do another layer, just like that. Perfect. Grab another one, start pushing. Keep your piping bag in the same area and it will just fill up as much as it needs to fill. And then just slowly move it along. There we go. If you want it a little bit more, you can just add that extra little bit on the top. There we go. We'll do another one. There we go. A little bit more on this end. And I don't have that much left, you can see, just a little, little bit. There we go, beautiful. Then you can just take them and tap them down if you wish. Now at this point, those are ready. You could actually eat those right now. We're gonna put them back in the oven. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. That's an optional step, you don't need to. You could actually just pop these in just like that, just to brown them on the top, so you would put your salamander or your upper broil element on and then just brown them quickly just to crust them over on the top. Or what you can do is just put a little bit of cheddar cheese on the top and then brown them like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll go get my cheese and I'll be back in a second. All right, I have grated up some cheddar cheese. We'll just get those on there. If you wanna make sure that your cheese and everything stays on nicely, you can just flatten that out. Just go back and forth, just like you were doing a cake just like that, okay, perfect. Grab some of my cheddar cheese and we'll just get that on there. And of course, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how come you didn't do bacon? Well, that's gonna be, I guess, in another recipe. Don't worry, I was thinking about it. I was thinking, oh yeah. Bacon would have been the way to go. Now, you know our nice little chives? We're gonna use that as decoration, those as decoration today, but we could have incorporated them right into the actual potato filling. We could have also added in dill, which would have been nice. You know what, there are so many variations. But for today, 
that's what I'm doing. So there we go. I am going to pop these in 350 degree oven. Just going to let them go for about maybe 10 minutes just to really warm them through. They, they are still warm, but I just want to make sure that they're, they're really warm. Then I'm going to put my salamander on my um, broiler and I'll just broil the top of them. So off to the oven and I'll see you in a while. I'll show you the final product when I get back. All right, I'll just cut up some chives just for decoration. There we go. Woohoo, hot. And there we go. Beautiful. A little bit of garnish. Just like that. A little bit of sour cream on the side. And you have a meal. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.